January marks 70 years since this television station first went on the air. All this week, we have welcomed beloved KPRC anchors from the past back on our set. And today, another treasured member of the team was scheduled to return to the air for one special appearance. On January 1st, Doug Johnson wrote to us that he was flattered to have been asked to participate, and he said it would be an honor to be a part of the 70th anniversary celebration. He signed the note with gratitude, Doug Johnson. Sadly, just a couple of days later, Doug passed away. Anyone who had the privilege of working with Doug or watching him on TV knows he was one of a kind, simply irreplaceable. So today, on the day that we were looking forward to hearing Doug's hearty laugh echo through our studios once more, we honor our friend and weatherman with these memories. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson of Channel 2 News. I want Houston to remember that Doug loved this, this city. He gave his all to everything that he ever did, including the weather at KPRC Channel 2. He was just, he was one of a kind. In all the people I've worked with, and all the people I've known in my life, <laughs> I've never known anybody like, like Doug. Even now I have to hold back uh, the tears. But he was family. This guy was absolutely divine. Doug was the most delightful, kind, thoughtful, um, intelligent man. Doug was one of those rare people who never had anything bad to say about anyone. Rarer still, nobody had anything bad to say about Doug Johnson. Modest. Oh, my Lord, he was modest. He had no idea of the stardom. I think everybody, everybody loved him. I think the thing that first comes to mind is that big laugh of his <laughs> that you could hear in the next county. You could not hear Doug laugh and not just burst out into laughter yourself. Doug was Doug all the time. It's been a good show. If we didn't have to do this tomorrow, it would be a good week, wouldn't it? <laughs> Every joke I ever told him, he laughed. That's, that's tough to do sometimes with me. I don't know if you can really describe that. Doug Johnson laughed. Doug Johnson had a laugh that like no others. And he had stunts like no other. I'm on the set one day delivering the news and I feel something toying at my feet. He was tying my shoelaces together. <laughs> Doug had this way of sneaking up on you. I'd be at the desk, you know, getting ready for the newscast, going over my copy, and I'd look up and there's Doug right there. No one had more fun doing this business than Doug Johnson. Doug was so good at it and made it look so easy. He was just a natural. Big Two News, on the scene at 6 with Larry Rasco. Exclusive weather radar coverage with Doug Johnson. He considered himself a scientist, which good meteorologists do. And he had a way of making the weather make sense to the layman. That's, that was his real value. And even though we may occasionally complain about too much heat and too much humidity, that humidity is actually very good for your skin. Gave you the weather that you needed in order to live your life. The tornado watch for this area expired a couple of hours ago. The thunderstorms now are confined to a very narrow band. He really knew his craft. If we were having a storm or a tornado or a, a hurricane or whatever, Doug knew how to forecast that. Hurricane Alicia, the only radar in the greater Houston area that worked was ours here at Channel 2. But in this present movement... And Doug had everything nailed. I mean, everyone in the country is calling here because Doug's on nonstop by himself. Well, he's one of the best weathermen in the business, then or now. And when you combined Doug, that personality, with Ron Stone, it was just magic on the air. For 12 years, I sat between Ron Stone and Doug Johnson on the anchor desk. And I have to tell you, that was a challenge because when you're on your, the air, everything was serious. As soon as you went to commercial break, Ron and Doug were like, you know, a comedy act. Now, every day, we're going to, at about this time, uh, review with you a little snippet of history, called appropriately enough, because you couldn't think of a better name for it, This Day in History. Yeah, I like that. They were like vaudeville, is the best way I can describe it. Pardon me, boy. Is this the Corsicana station? And you just don't see that anymore. They were 
a hilarious team. They were a mess together, honestly. Get out of here! Get out! Get out of here! Come on! But they would crack up, and of course, did you remember the episode with the chicken? It's hilarious. You cooperate, Wilma. 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 Wilma, come here. Now, what are we going to do for the future, Wilma? I don't think they have bad weather. No, no weather at all. It's going to be. One night only, Ron and Doug back at the desk. You know, it really feels good here. Harold from Sealy wants to know if you miss doing television. Harold, I'm doing television <laughs> right now. Uh, do I? No, I don't miss it, Harold, because you have to work nights. <laughs> Ron and Doug had a, an incredible chemistry that you don't often see. And I think it's because they genuinely liked each other as friends and they respected each other. Well, I, I don't... Uh, what they've done, this is... Fuck. By the way, these days don't move your head real fast. It yeah. looks fun. Uh, <laughs> they were two of the most talented people I've ever known in the business. You just got to end by saying, uh -huh. thanks for the memory. <laughs> <laughs> but everything comes down to this. I want desperately for you to know the gratitude that I have to you for 33 wonderful years. This has become my home. You've become my family. As a small boy, I had lots of dreams about the wondrous things that life might hold. And I want you to know that what you've given me, what really happened, was much better than all those dreams could have possibly have been. Thank you for all the great joy that I've been able to enjoy because of you. And I can only give you back one thing, and that's a wish that every day for the rest of your life, you have that perfect combination of sunshine, and widely scattered showers. My happy prayers to you.